Hello everyone, welcome back to another RimWorld video. Today I want to talk about how to make tons of money uh, with animals. Uh, there are two ways technically you can make a lot of money. The first way is of course to tame, uh, you know, like uh, all, the all the animals that you can tame, of course, when you start. Um, as you can see, I'm going to show you what I have as animal. These are all the animals that I have, like all the way here. Um, and to tell you the truth, the one that sells the most, um, well, if you want to sell the animal, that would be the elephant. So the elephant, you want to make sure you have up to, like I put 25. You don't have to do 25, you can go 30, 40, 60, but you got to be careful with that because uh, if you go, have too many elephants, I'll show you, because this is where my elephants are. Uh, see, this is, they eat almost everything. Here there's a little bit more left, so I'm going to have to expand the area where they can actually eat grass. Okay, so that's the thing. If you have too much elephant, because elephant they eat a lot of food, right? So, but they sell for a lot. So, what happens is that when you reach a certain amount of elephants, what you can decide to do is you can start to sell like uh, half of them. So, I could go to, I don't know, 30. And once I've reached 30, I'm going to sell like, uh, well, I don't know what? I might go to 40. I'll go to 40, and when I get uh, 20, I'm going to take 20 of these elephants, okay? And I'm going to go to my neighbors over here. Uh, which upon where you must be neutral or you know positive with them so make sure that that you're on a good standing and you sell your elephants to them they buy uh, they 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 buy you know animals same thing with this guy over here so yeah so that's one way you can sell also other animals it doesn't have to be elephant I'm just saying that elephants are uh, they sell the most when I go there they sell around 450 450 I think uh, silver so let me double check uh, how much they're worth? Usually they have a price. Uh, market value six hundred, but when I go there, they usually buy for four hundred, like fit twenty silver. Okay, which is the most expensive. Uh, well, the most expensive. You also have the th the the thrombo, but the thrombo are like super hard to tame. By the way, and uh, you may you may even get killed <laughs> trying to tame them. So I yeah. So yeah. So. Thrombo sells for a lot. You also have wargs, I uh, think panthers, mm, you know, the, um, let me see what else sells for a lot. Donkeys, not so bad. Horses, they sell for some good. Wargs, they sell for a lot as well. But wargs, you see, I only have one, so I'm not going to sell it. Um, what else sells for a lot? Bison, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so you, so for me personally, on the map that I am, elephants sell for the most. I'm gonna up, go up to 40. Uh, this I'm gonna go up to 20, and the other one will be unlimited. So you're gonna say, how am I gonna, how am I gonna be able to um, raise 40 elephant? Well, see that's the thing. When you elephant, they're not penned animal, in a sense that they can go anywhere they want on the map. So what I'm gonna do for them, I'm gonna go to zone area over here. Uh, I, I made a specific zone for um, for big animals. I'm oh, sorry, not this guy. Where is it? Big animal. Oh, this one. See, big animal. So this is where my elephant sleeps, and they can go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it. They can go here, all the way here. There you go. I don't want them to go any further. And of course, I'm going to make, since we're there, I'm going to make this thing over here, in order to protect them from uh, you know raiders uh, and uh, other stuff. You no, know, like. Uh, other th anything that can kill them so I know this car what the hell anyway <laughs> I'm gonna have to destroy it um, one second guys I need to make a like a little door just in case I need to get out and here as well there we go uh, where was that yeah so the other so yeah selling animals makes a lot of money now be careful which one you sell so because you see the other one like cows donkeys are very good for traveling uh, if you need you know like animals for traveling you don't want to kill them but you it depends how many you raise you know if you have too much then yes it, me I only have 10 of them so donkeys I have do, 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 eight I only have eight of them so the reason why I don't want to go any higher is because uh, they also eat a lot of food and because in the same pen I have cows you know and I don't make these guys um, you know I, I don't want to how can I say this I don't make them in order to sell them. I make them for traveling only. But for travel, I also use elephants. So it depends what I'm, what I'm travel. Like the reason why I'm traveling, am I bringing a lot of stuff? Do I, do I bring like small stuff? You know, for small amount of, 
of items and to go a little bit faster I would use donkeys if I bring a lot of stuff for trading I would use uh, Dumbo uh, sorry <laughs> Dumbo I would use I would use elephants and donkeys to assist me if I have a lot of stuff to haul or to, I mean, sorry, to travel to uh, my neighbors to sell because sometimes there are some items that's uh, that are very heavy, and if you don't have enough, you know, animals to help you to travel or to carry all the uh, ele all the items that you have, I mean, that will be a problem. You will not be able to sell, right? So that's that. Uh, the other the other way to make a lot of money would be to sell fewer fewer the the fewer that by experience makes a lot of money would be the alpaca. See alpaca, I brought them all the way to thirty. That's insane because they're gonna eat a lot of food. These guys eat a lot of food, and I brought the males up to ten, uh, unlimited for young males, unlimited for young female, unlimited for uh, female adults. Because these guys, uh, whether I shear, because these guys, my my tamer will shear. Where are they? They will shear the fear, and the fear sells for a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Okay, so whenever I shear one of their, you know, their, the the fear. I, I, they bring it over here, or um, you know, places where I allow them to be for fear, and I sell them. Uh, when, when, when I have like around 2,000 fewer or 3,000, I would go to a neighborhood and sell them. And also, when you when you butcher when you butcher those alpaca, the, I mean, you know, with my auto slaughtering, when you butcher them, you get extra meat, so you get meat to eat. So meats go over here. So as you can see, I have a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah, so you get a lot of uh, dead animals for you know for butchering and you know to have a lot of meats to make your food. So that's one advantage. And the other thing also, um, also when you butcher them, sorry, when you butcher them over here, you acquire leather. Uh, well, the fur. Sorry, you you get like the f the over here. I don't know. You call it, the alpaca wool. There you go. I said I said here it's wool, so you get alpaca wool every every time you uh, butcher an alpaca. So, see, so it's it's basically you get three in one, right? So alpaca, I'll be honest with you, you want to have a lot of them, you want to tame a lot of them, but you got to make sure that you limit that to ten. You don't want to have too many males. You want to have ten males and the rest all females, uh, because if you have too much male, I mean that's not a good thing. They will procreate too fast. And you know that's not what you want. You just want to have enough so that you can sell the fewer, you know. And uh, also, don't forget you have other animals. So if you have too much animals to, you know, to butcher, you will be, you will have a lot of dead dead animals everywhere. Like you can see over here, I made a specific spot for, de uh, sorry, for dead anim wait, for dead animals, uh, rotten dead animals, basically. Uh, the reason is because I butchered so many animals and I did not have en enough place to put them over here. Right now it's fine. So what happened is that these dead animals, uh, they got rotten uh, under the temperature and we had to bring them somewhere. We couldn't leave them over here. So I brought, I made a little spot over here so, they, so that my hauler can actually haul them over here, those that are dead. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of dead animal skeletons, so that's why I'm gonna I'm building a crematorium right now in order to burn or uh, burn these um, you know these dead corpse boneless these animals you know so yeah because otherwise I won't have any more spot to actually bring them there so <laughs> but that's why you have to be careful with the amount of animals that you have and why you want these animals so if you can see ducks I, ha I used to have 20 I used to have 15 I used to have uh, uh, this I was 20, 20, 30, you know, like I had too many of everything. So right now I reduced everything, but I upgraded uh, the alpaca and I upgraded the elephant. Those two animals are the one that makes the most amount of money for me, per se. So that's, you know, my personal opinion, of course. Yes, some of you may disagree, but I tell you, elephant sells for a lot and they're good for traveling. They're the best for traveling, actually. However, the inconvenient is that uh, when you travel with these guys, you are, you have a, a higher percentage to be uh, seen by uh, raiders, you know, so you may get attacked more often. But to be honest with you, I've been using them a lot in a lot of my traveling and have I haven't I haven't been attacked that much. And even if they attack me when I travel, I would always pick like uh, four or five of my best, uh, you know, best colonists. So the one that is good for shooting, you know, and stuff like that. So even if I get attacked, I wreck them. Like, so it's okay if you want to attack me, I'll just kill you right away. <laughs> So you got to be strategic in a sense, you know, you don't want to just go there by yourself with all these elephants because if you get attacked, you're in deep trouble, okay? So that's that. So um, also you got to make sure that if you uh, have a lot of the certain animals, you go over here, okay? 
and you go over uh, you go to food and you double check over here nutrition consumption and nutrition growth and also nutrition stockpile nutrition stockpile basically are the kibbles that you put over here or any kind of ad, uh, any kind of uh, food that you put, you would put in their you know in their uh, barn or whatever you call it okay uh, nutrition growth would be the amount of grass that grows in the area where they are enclosed so if this is higher than this which is nutrition consumption by these four animals that I have in the pen so wild boar, alpaca, chinchilla, sheep so that's why you have to be careful you I know I only have 40, uh, uh, 32 animals but as you as you raise more uh, more animals like this guy is going to go up to 30 see this this consumption will go higher so that's where you have to be careful if you go any higher than the, than this over here you're going to be in deep trouble you either need a lot of kibbles or you need to have a bi uh, wider place you know like to expand uh, the area where they can eat you understand so everything is linked together in order to be successful in making money in this game okay and that same thing for the other animals see i have my boomalopes over here over here i have no i have nobody yet but i'm thinking i'm using it as an expansion for maybe the barn because i'm going to have a lot of alpaca and i don't know i'll see who, which other animals i'm going to put there maybe i'm going to re remove all the alpaca and i'll put them all over here so they don't you know they have their separate enclosure i was thinking of that as well uh, these are my elephants, so only elephants and uh, you know big animals can come around here. But elephants, they're not pent in the, in the sense that they can go pretty much outside in the entire world if I want to. So that's why I don't have too much of an issue with them because even if they get attacked, they get attacked, they will be able to defend themselves because they got, they're kind of powerful in a sense. Except the babies, the babies, yeah, that's another story, which is why I could also make a secondary, uh, you know, like zoning for baby baby elephants per se. I could do that, and then I would. I would allow the adult elephants to go, I don't know, unrestricted or maybe it would, you know, with uh, uh, further range in order to eat. If I, if that is, I don't have enough, if I see that they're eating too fast, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, just like I said before, you want to make sure that once you reach 40, you're going to sell 20 of them. Just go sell 20 of them right away. When they reach 40 over here, sell 20 of them and then you should be okay. Now, if you don't sell them and you let them live, then that's your problem in a sense that you have not managed it properly because yeah you have a lot of elephant but yeah they're gonna eat a lot and you know they're they're there for nothing so you just want to sell them because the goal is to make money right there you go plus also when you butcher them if you do butcher them you had you have elephant um leather and elephant leather are expensive as well they make a lot of money uh, that is if, if you want to go that route of course but me I don't butcher them I just sell them or I, do, I just use them for traveling you know what I'm saying so yeah that's it so that's how I make money with animals guys and um, make sure if you uh, do want to raise a lot of, uh, of uh, animals that your ideology goes with it like my ideology that I choose one last thing over here ideo ethic I have the rancher so rancher it's a very good thing to have a lot of animals so if you have a lot of animals you get a buff and the buff is depends how many animals you have so let me see how, what is the buff lots of animal I have two buff yeah I got two points in mood buff but if you have it depends how many animals you have the more animals you have the higher the buff over here the mood buff all right guys so that's another thing to want to take consideration so if you like this video if you have learned anything if you find this useful please like and subscribe and i want to thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next rim world video later on cheers